Everyone can benefit from learning, but some people in our communities are missing out. These people could be socially disadvantaged or suffering from mental health problems. They could be homeless or have learning difficulties. They may simply live in remote areas or have had bad experiences of learning back in their school days. They may be older and lonely or out of touch with modern technology. Some will have slipped through the system without basic skills such as reading or writing. Some people will be looking for support to return back to work or acquire skills to find new employment. I've been disabled for 11 years, I'm 53 now. I was in a wheelchair for two years. Didn't want to do much, just very bitter. Why did it happen to me? You get a little bit despondent um, being turned down for jobs. I've been unwell for six years. Um, I've got post-traumatic stress disorder and I suffer with anxiety and I'm very much anxious. I've been anxious the whole time to return to work. Coming in for the first time to the course was very difficult. The first two or three weeks, to be honest. I'd pace around outside. I wouldn't come in because I was school phobic. It's an illness that I wouldn't wish on anyone. It's like being, I say, it's like being in a well, right at the bottom of a well, and the walls, as you're trying to climb up them, keep giving in because you just want to get up to that light. It is the aim of Hampshire Learning to make sure that learning opportunities are interesting, relevant, and meet the needs of people who would most benefit from our support. By linking with partners all across the county, we are connecting people to learning opportunities supporting and inspiring them to develop new skills and achieve new goals. Coming to my classes, I see, I think, a little miracle every week. The area is classed as an area of high deprivation. Uh, there's a lot of young single parents living on the Rauner estate and it actually gives them a focus. What I foresee is them to give them some, some confidence and some motivation and some skills so they can go out there and feel a bit more confident in themselves. Some of the people have very isolated lives um, for one reason or another and we find with the class the barriers get broken down and you get students helping each other. It's partly about literacy. Um, from a Hampshire learning point of view, obviously we want to get people through their literacy tests. But I think if you ask the learners, they'll probably say to you, it's good that we pass our test, but what we've really got out of it is confidence and something that we're proud of. I love the feeling of giving something back to the community. I love the fact that people seem to enjoy it so much. Actually, what we say is that they come and have fun. And by the way, they learn Italian. And they do learn Italian well. We believe that learning takes many forms and can be used in a number of ways. Helping to improve employability, enable personal and physical development, or simply for having fun. It's brilliant. The teachers are absolutely fantastic. So it's a joy to come every Tuesday. <laughs> We learnt to do things like write lesson plans and conduct a lesson, classroom management, management of resources, that, that sort of thing. I had ME for quite a long time, so that's what I started doing the classes and that's really helped with my strength and my recovery. We can do lots of courses on here, literacy, maths, uh, computing courses, and in the afternoons there's a job club where we do internet searching and look for papers and stuff like that. This is fun. We meet a different types of people and we are uh, confident to talking and writing and making our spelling improve. It's something I've always wanted to do, I guess. It's something that as a teenager, lots of people that you knew would play guitar. And I was never particularly musical. I think the last musical instrument I picked up was a recorder at the age of six. I did the course because it eventually it will help me get back into uh, working in a school, uh, which will fit in with having two children, with the holidays and the hours. Learning benefits individuals by giving them the skills to find work and by offering mental or physical stimulation, health, well-being and enjoyment. Learning benefits families by boosting parents' confidence to support their children and by providing opportunities for shared experiences. Learning benefits communities by bringing people together and encouraging them to get involved locally. It gets a lot of people together. It brings outsiders in, people moving into the area, we explain it to them, they come over meet new friends. I think what the community get from the classes is, yes, they're learning a skill, and that's really good and it keeps their brain going. But actually, at the base of it, we are providing them an opportunity for real social outlet. It gives you a bit of meaning in life. 
where before you just sat at home, you get the local paper and there's very little in there. So to come and actually meet people and, and chat with them, yeah, it's, it's nice. There's a little bit of community where around here there isn't much of it. Oh, I think this centre's great. Um, I mean, I only moved down here from London two years ago. Um, and to have something like this so local and not have to go to a college where there's other students around all day, um, it's really supportive. My son goes to creche. Um, it's absolutely a lifesaver. If he didn't go to creche, I wouldn't be able to do the courses. I get free care and the creche is just a pure lifesaver you know, for me and my son. He meets new people and I meet new people, so it's a win-win situation. There's a social thing about it. You're meeting people who are in the same stance doing the same thing. As lecturers we go over things again and again as much as people need them and it's really important for us not to have that sort of rigid classroom structure and it's much more friendly, everyone chats. So you break down the notion of like classroom teaching which so many people have fear of. Planning was important and that's part of the literacy. We had to do a planning sheet on where we want to go with this and from that I think it takes your blinkers off and you just see different avenues where traditionally you wouldn't have seen the different avenues. It's given me a lot of confidence now to get on and do the next course, the 30 hour course, I want to do that and also um, to actually teach adults, um, disabled adults now. It's interesting, it's actually become a highlight of, uh, of my week and I think it is for uh, the majority of the uh, other students on my course. We've had people come through and they've come down, they've done a CV and um, for an online application, they've filled in the application. Week there, they get an interview and they've gone off and got a job, so it's a real satisfaction to them and to me. We feel really uh, like privileged. The confidence building is just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I could recommend it to anybody. I have surprised myself that I could actually do this because I didn't think I could. I was like, gosh, I can't do this. Um, and I'm really surprised that I've managed to do what I've done. With the help and support of Hampshire Learning and its partners, people can aspire to a better future for themselves, their families and even their communities. Together we can fill in the missing pieces, connect people and help all our communities to enjoy the benefits of learning. Try anything. Go to a go to night class, go and do a college course, um, just do something and then build on that. It's a lot of little steps. Now I can see that I can have my own business, my own freedom again, um, earn my own money, not be taking benefits and give something back as well, employ other people. You're never too old to learn. It probably sounds silly but I've found what I want to do. There's a huge demand, the classes are always full and people are putting their names down for further courses but we do need that funding to keep going. To see me, you know, now from there, not going out, not leaving the house, to in the last three years, putting myself through a college course, met a girlfriend, engaged, getting married next year. It's, it's come full circle, basically.